And it hosts the wildest party in the country, Mardi Gras. Somehow in New Orleans, religious observance and unrestricted hedonism have always managed to live comfortably side by side. It was in this city of contradictions that a baby girl was born on October 4, 1941. She was the second daughter of Catherine and Howard O'Brien, and they decided to name her after her father, Howard Allen O'Brien. This was the unusual start to the life of Anne Rice. Howard O'Brien, a postal worker, left his family for three years to serve in the Navy soon after Anne was born. His wife Catherine was a smart and adventurous woman. She dreamed of nothing less than greatness for Anne and her older sister Alice. In Catherine's house, there were no rules. The girls asked questions about anything on their minds, and to the dismay of neighbors, sometimes ran around naked in the backyard.